Oh my, would you look at the time? That's right, Gintama. And it's actually been almost a day since my last Gintama fix. Luckily that wait was near instantaneous for you. Well anyway, I've already gotten myself a drink, which today is a nice relaxing matcha green tea latte. So, as long as you're ready, let's go. Relatively bright enough, and it's a computer monitor, not a TV. Does that distinction matter? I, um... Gintama is a show where I'm, I'm constantly looking out for things that could be of importance, but at the same time, regarding things as insignificant because it's Gintama. Where they have themselves self-evidently put plot points in just to drop them to play a joke on the audience. And also because it's been about a day, I've relatively forgotten what the preview was on the last one. So it is almost as though I'm going in without any expectations. How many meta-advertising jokes do they need for the Jump magazine? Yeah, that is one problem with getting into something and finding some sort of medium that you enjoy. Always on the behest of when the next is released. So after fighting countless battles and fighting gargantuan monsters. Gintoki was taken out by a simple car accident. <laughs> Be respectful for everyone else. All of you. Well, maybe this is an anti-advertising, or an advertisement for, or advertisement for buying Jump then. Why are you taking things so lightly? He looks a little brain dead. Well, it's Gintoki we're talking about. He probably already was, but... That was... That was it, wasn't it? Hmm. Did his, uh... Voice and inflections change as well. Could it be just from a swelling on the brain, so after a while it will just revert to normal?
Looks like his uh, his attitude towards her hasn't changed, though. My, as I, I think I've said before, my knowledge on neurology isn't anywhere near, even near reaching even a layman's terms, maybe. But, uh, if one day we do find out all the intricacies of the mind, that will be a very important day. Imagine losing your memory and these are the words of everyone who knows you. And yes, there would probably be at least someone that would try to take advantage of the situation. Like, oh, remember, you owed me a uh, hundred dollars. <laughs> How will, will he react to being eaten by Sadaharu in this state? It must have been a resurgence from yeah, from your injuries. Yeah, I'm surprised no one has been gravely wounded by Sadaharu, as is. Yeah, that looks like a character from uh, Rival Schools. If any of you know that game, please let me know. I'm always looking for more people that remember it. And how how far does his amnesia stretch? Is it everything that he's lost knowledge on? He'd have some innate ability to uh, feed himself and read, perhaps, but... I wonder what he was hoping to achieve by asking the person with amnesia to tell him what's going on. <laughs> Can any of them be called friends? Really, Katara? At least hit him an odd number of times. It's just a free for all on attacking Kentucky at this point. To think you just drive a car into a crowd. How many do you carry around at any one point? Does he just have him on his waist like Pokeballs? Did his voice change again? Has he reverted to being a child now? I didn't. I wasn't preempting that scene with her, but. 
even with incredibly bad eyes, you should be able to tell. At least 3D and 2D apart. This is the kind of... Uh, how soft is his voice? Wait, have you? But how bad does your eyesight need to be where glasses would make this much of a difference? <clears throat> but how would he she probably enjoys the or would enjoy being ignored by st oh stuck by Nata what a speciality attack. I highly doubt that. Probably some good work words there. Although, who exactly would use that phrase? Did he get shot? Wow, to think she can just walk, walk up or run up vertical surfaces. At this, at this point in time, I believe Gintoki um, would have needed speciality care. You're going to knock his memory again, aren't you? All he needed was a rest. And they're putting him through so much hell. Splat. land on his home run he was there when I got here oh my god At this point, I'm finding even his uh, amnesia hard to swallow if he does all of these voices. He already just said... Does it work like that, though? It's not like... <laughs> Everyone else has already resorted to violence, so yeah, why not someone that is keen to turn that way? Why am I seeing flowers? To think that he could sway a maiden, even, well, while having amnesia. Hmm? Is, is that a, um, a trait that is desirable? It's disconcerting, isn't it?
to be fair, is it that big of a loss if the old Ginsan was lost forever? Apart from his uh, his honour and his code, there wasn't many redeeming other factors. I'm guessing there was just one way of saying that how he's just become more serious, but how long has he been under the Katatsu? I'm not going to ask as to what that actually is. I'm also kind of surprised he hasn't relocated, is now living in various cubby holes of her house. <laughs> but, well, actually, no, he would be as competitive when it comes to her. Cheap, s sweet foods. Of course it would, uh, if there was anything to bring him out or snap him out of it. The inspirational music is starting to swell, so what can ruin it? Oh, of course, her fried eggs. Can you stomach that? Evidently not. Well, looks like we need to... Dig two grave plots. The copper... Is it revisiting mo many scenes from the past? You see, Amnesia would be a great subtext to have a, uh, a clip show like they were talking about a few episodes ago, but. Would you want to return if uh, the only things that people say about you are these very double-bladed compliments? So if them doing anything to try and jog his memory doesn't work, then throwing him into the thick of things and getting his fighting spirit to shine. I really hope Gintama doesn't take this kind of contrived exit out. What are you going to do, run away? <laughs> that works too. In this respect, this was one of his... Uh, one of the traits that made him... Well, quite a good... Is that their house? Yeah. No. 
You found it. <laughs> Let's hope they weren't in. So it's like how Gin calls Katsura Zura, he calls him Kin. Bye. Looks like they may need to find alternative com accommodation. The interweaving branches of human memory. So far it's just the events of today, nothing prior, so... Well, why do they put up with all of it? Apart from a kind of a loyalty to him and friendship, why would they put up with so much? Despite all of the things they were saying about him, Gin did have a few good points. If they're so adverse to the idea of separating, would that get you to rethink your decision or at least put a few more moments of contemplation? Really, we're just going to end it there. We're actually ending on a cliffhanger type thing. No memory return. If in around about a week's time, we come back to this, and his memory is fully returned, and they make no mention of it whatsoever, I'm calling it now. <laughs> I wonder if they're actually going to do stuff like that and um, make that self-meta joke about shows that do this kind of thing. Or if, like, the episode with the... Demon Gladiator, where well, they actually continued that in the second one with the Shinsengumi guys and the old man with the assassin complex. Gintama is actually broadening its horizons to include maybe not overarching subplots and why not, but at least cross episode ones, so. We'll have to see where it goes. Are they really living in the rundown ruins? Shikai. We are actually continuing the story. You see, I'm also starting to think that maybe Gin himself didn't like his old way of life. 
and you is using this as a pretext to change his ways without having to do the whole yeah my bad kind of thing so it's a way of taking responsibility and changing without having to it's dumb but it's also dumb enough that it might be oh what the future holds for gintama and considering there are hundreds of episodes left Many, many a plot points can be brought up and probably will be. So if you're itching to find out, then make sure you never miss another episode by subscribing to the channel and turning on notifications. And if you haven't done so already and you think I deserve it, then leaving a like on the video and commenting down below really helps me out. Maybe not as much as sharing it around with all of your friends, but it still helps me out. But with this, I'm going to leave it here, contemplating what it means to have your own personality when it can be changed in an instant. Maybe I won't think too deep on it. Get yourself some rest. See you in the next one. This channel arose from watching stupid things and hopefully getting you to enjoy alongside. And that's kind of how I'd like to continue it. So I would really, really love to show my appreciation to those who actively show me that they care. And that would be my patrons, and especially to Florida Taku, Sal, Ray Wynn, Denimet 1997, and Luis Almanza. Are you happy now? <laughs> but really, thank you.